Your computer is organized a lot like a file cabinet. Things are stored in folders, and in those folders are your files. Let's take a look. I'm going to open up Computer by double-clicking it. Now I can see every area on my computer, and you can see if something looks like a little folder and you double-click on it, that means there are more things inside. And you can keep double-clicking until you find a file. Over on the left is a menu of all the different areas in your computer. You've got your documents, music, pictures, and videos. And these are the areas that you're mostly going to save things to. Within each of these libraries, you can create your own folders so you can organize yourself the way that makes most sense to you. Let's say you want to create a picture folder. I'm going to click on Pictures over on the left, and above I'll find New Folder, and I'll click once on it. You can see a new folder has been created, and I need to name it now. The words New Folder are highlighted. That means I can hit Delete on my keyboard and type a new name. When I'm finished naming the folder, I'll hit Enter on my keyboard, and I'll have a new folder. If I double-click on it, I'll see that it's empty, obviously. Now when I have a picture I want to save, when I hit the Save button, I can go to the drop-down menu at the top of the Save As window, go to my Libraries and my Pictures, find my new folder, double-click on it, name my file, and hit Save. Now let's say a couple days have passed, and I need to find that tulips photo. I'll either go to My Computer, or I can go down here to Windows Explorer and left-click once, go to my Pictures area, look for Spring 2013, and I'll find my picture. Folders are a great way to organize. Just look for the New Folder button. Or, if you want to create a folder on your desktop, you can right-click once on the desktop, float your pointer over New, and select Folder with your left mouse button. Here you can type over New Folder and hit Enter on your keyboard, and now you have a new folder on your desktop.